In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a layer mask to combine this picture with this picture to produce this picture. So you can see that's got lots of applications. And the main thing here is that la the layer mask is going to make cutting the picture of me out of this picture and putting it at the White House very simple. So I'm going to begin by closing the finished product just that I had just opened to show you. Leave that there and we'll work with this. So we're going to begin, first of all I'm going to unlock the background layer by double clicking on the padlock. I'm going to take the, pa the lasso, I'm going to make a rough outline of the figure in the photograph. Because I'm going to use a layer mask, I don't need to get terribly excited about it. Now I'm going to use the layer mask to quickly eliminate everything but the selection. So I'm going to click layer mask right here on the layers panel. And you'll see that everything that is not selected is removed. Really, it's hidden with transparency because when you look at the layers panel, you can see that the entire picture is still there. It's just that in the layer mask, we have hidden that with transparency. So now I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to begin using the eraser tool to take out that small amount that's left. Now when you're using the eraser tool like this, you can use a fairly big brush because the simplest technique is to just click with the edge of the brush at the edge of the image you're wanting to leave behind and just erase everything else. So to some extent, the bigger the brush, the better. But you do have to be a little careful to make sure that you overlap your click selection, your clicks with the brush, because otherwise what can happen, watch if I don't overlap, you get a kind of jagged edge to your selection and that won't do, will it? So you just click, use the edge of the brush to come up to the edge of the picture you're maintaining, overlapping your clicks. Now if you're extremely sure-handed and dexterous, you might be able to draw. I am not dexterous, so I use single clicks because when I try to draw, it just doesn't go so smoothly. So I go round the image with single clicks. Now, of course, I can sweep over these. Adjusting my brush size as needed. As you can see, I can't get quite in here with this small brush. So I'll come down and get a tiny one and take out this. Would you say I needed a haircut? This one is just too small. We try the 15. That's better. Okay, and back up to the bigger brush. And I'm just going to keep going on around the photograph until I have the selection clearly outlined using the navigator to help me move around and just taking out the extra, move up a notch, taking out the extra color that I don't want to put on the White House lawn. So I'll just keep doing this. Okay, so about five minutes of selection work, I checked, and um, may take you a little longer, that's fine, I've practiced a bit. Now I need to look at the relative sizes of the pictures. If you look at the White House picture, it's 800 pixels wide by 320 pixels high, whereas the picture from Estonia is 3000 pixels wide and 2300 high. 
So if I were to just drag the picture of me over to the White House, I'd be pretty supersized, and that would be unnecessary, yes? So I'm going to begin by cutting this down to size a little. And first, I'm going to crop it. The reason I'm going to crop it is, remember, we have this entire picture here. So just to save file space, I'm going to crop out a chunk of the background and just have the piece we need. And I'll press Enter to confirm that crop. And now we just have, and now see, the picture is 875 by 915, much more like it. Now I'm going to use the Image Size tool, and I'm going to make the height 200. So that's less than the total height of the picture. And I'm hoping with perspective that might work. All right, so now I'm very small, but that's okay. Now I'm going to point to the layer palette of the picture that I'm of me in Estonia. I'm going to drag that layer over to the White House picture and drop it. And there you see, there I am. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to close this because I don't need that anymore. And let's pick the Move tool and move me into place on the White House lawn. I'm going to put, with my head against the dark green, it's just a little more apparent. If I put my head in the sky, it's just a little less apparent that I'm positioned there. So, that's pretty fun, isn't it? So be thinking about a picture of yourself, somebody in your family, your favorite movie star, that you might be able to use a layer mask to cut out of its original picture, because your first assignment is going to be to send a friend to the White House. Okay.